day, for some reason, I just wanted to fucking strangle that kid. No lie. Cause when we do our thing, the table shining like New York, yeah. Oh my, oh my, what a wonderful time. It's been a minute since I pulled a So, you know when you're in, like, grade 6, 5, 4, you're pretty close to the grades above you and below you, meaning when you go out for recess, you can hang out with kids a little bit older than you and a little bit younger than you. Meaning you kinda knew those kids a little bit. You always knew kids younger than you. You knew their names, some of them at least, and you just you just knew who these people were. I was scrolling through Facebook and I see this one girl all the time on my news feed and she's always spewing some bullshit, some drama, or she's doing something with alcohol. One of the three. And the last time I remember seeing her, she was in like grade five, right? So that's the image of her that I have in my head. And to this day, whenever I see one of those Facebook posts, I'm just like, bro, calm down. You're like in grade five. Like that's my legitimate thought in my head. And then I remember, oh wait, like maybe these people actually grow up too. But forever in my head, these kids will always like be in grade five, whatever grade I remember them in. I just felt like telling you that because I was scrolling on Facebook and I literally think these kids are still in those low grades. In reality, they're graduating and I'm like, settle down, dude, you're like in grade five. But in other news, other news. Trouble Alert Nation, I'm your host. Can I keep shit? I actually have a story that I want to tell you guys. I got into a little bit of a scuffle on Twitter the other day. And if you don't follow me on Twitter or just don't give a shit about me, you probably don't care or just didn't know this happened. That's totally okay. Oh, fuck. I was on Twitter and some people have been asking for graphics recently and I'm quite comfortable with the skill level I'm at and what I can produce graphic wise. So I decided if people ask for graphics, I will give them my email so they can contact me so I could make them graphics for a decent price. And you know, I thought this was a great idea until this happened on Twitter. So someone tweeted at me asking for graphics, like I had mentioned. I tweeted him my email saying, you know, email me, I'll contact you when I have a minute. So this kid decided to butt in after I tweeted the other guy a my email address and he said, you know, she's sending more people to her email yet she's not answering the email she already has, something along those lines. And me, I got a little frustrated with that because for one, he's assuming that I have tons of emails that I'm just not answering, which is untrue. I had like two emails and both of them were from him. So I, I'm at a loss for words when it comes to that. So I was already kind of frustrated that he assumed that little bit right there. And then I just, it was just the whole situation, guys. It's just a piss off. I proceeded to tell him that I was at work when I tweeted that out saying, I'm not gonna reply to my emails while I'm at my legitimate job. I might send people there, but I will not answer the emails until I have a second to myself to answer emails. Tweeted it back full rage, like I have a full-time job I don't think you realize that. I'll answer when I have a minute. I prioritize my time, you know, and he just got super fucking butthurt. He proceeded to reply back to me saying, oh, how busy his life was, how he gets three more intro requests a day, and he still answers them on time and finishes projects, and he only gets to use his computer three days a week. Like, I don't give a shit. I'm not you. I don't care. I just got really frustrated because it seemed like he was assuming that I had all the time in the world to answer these emails and get projects done for people, but in reality I work 8 hours a day, every single day, I, 2 days of those days I go back to the office and I take a nighttime class, meaning I have 45 minutes between that 8 hours and that class to do what I want in a day. The rest of that is going home and going to bed, so in reality I have barely enough time to make YouTube videos, hang out with my boyfriend and enjoy life for what it really is. And this kid over here is assuming that I have like all the fucking free time in the world to uh, make his graphics. So I was butthurt. I was super fucking pissed off at this kid. I was like, don't you come in here and fucking assume shit about my life and then spew shit about yours because I don't care. And then he just started comparing me to other designers that sell graphics. Like, oh, I talked to this guy. He replied to me like within the hour gave me a price and we worked things out and i was just like well go back to that guy then i don't care i'm not doing this as a job i'm doing this on the side when i have a minute to myself to work on design another reason why i could have got as angry 
Another reason I could have got as angry as I did is because I realize I don't have a set way of doing these designs and getting orders besides sending people to my email and, you know, going down the list of emails. So I was just like, you know, I'm not sure how I'm going to work this Yeah, I'll just give people my emails and see how that goes. And this kid comes out of nowhere, like, bashing what I'm doing and how I'm not keeping a fast service or a fast enough for him service. So what I did is I went into my email, I deleted his email completely, didn't even reply because I'm not dealing with your ass anymore. And, you know, I'm sorry, I don't work around you. I have a schedule of my own and when graphics is my job then you can get mad at me for not keeping a fast service but it isn't i was gonna make this video the day it happened and i'm so glad i didn't because i was so revved up about it and it right now it seems like not even a big deal i should have blocked the kid faster than i did in the first place but i was having a rough day already so him doing that i just wanted to fucking punch someone in the throat like no lie like i don't even know how well i explained it in this video but he was just reaming me out like oh you're not keeping a fast service you know i know other people that reply better and then he started tweeting other like people that were inquiring about my graphics he started tweeting them to other designers saying you know this person does the exact same work but for half the price I just did a quad! I just did a quad, dude! I just did a quad feed! Ah! I totally thought I hit a triple and missed the quad, that's why I look so pissed right there. But in the end, I just got revved over Twitter and I really shouldn't have, like, I've been pretty good recently about getting mad and whatever when it comes to people online because they're literally just not worth the wasted breath, honestly. So, I've been pretty good about it, but that day, for some reason, I just wanted to fucking strangle that kid. No lie. I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it, and I'm really sorry for the lack of uploads. I didn't want to make a video while angry. I had no time yesterday. I basically got off work, went to a nail appointment, and had so much shit to do last night. I was just really frustrated with that, and I just couldn't upload when I want to. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Hope you did enjoy this. Definitely leave a like, comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video i'm sorry for the rat video i'm sorry i don't want to catch shit but yeah hopefully you enjoyed